Hello and welcome back to the EAFC channel reviews. My name is John, I'm a professional EAFC coach, and today we're going to be reviewing foot fantasy cards. I'm as nerdy as it gets, so I can pretty much tell you exactly how these cards will play in game. And there's a reason why, because uh, I've played this game way too much, and look how nerdy I am. Like seriously, if you if you think I don't know how these cards will play, look how nerdy I look. Do you see these glasses, guys? I I am so nerdy. These are some thick glasses. That's how nerdy I am. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. So starting off, I just want to start off with my man, Timo Werner. Timo Werner is coming in with high, medium work rates, four-star skills, five-star weak foot, control body type, right foot, 5'11". Now, he's, now, the thing about it is it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Remember, these cards can all get plus four upgrades. Now, Kim Styles. So here's the thing about this card. The pace is there. All of this is phenomenal. Okay, so like striker, five star weak foot, he's gonna play insanely, insanely smooth in game. Now I, I do individual reviews on every SBC, so you guys can check those out um, on on Twitter as well. So I'll be posting all day long on Twitter and, and giving my reviews. But ninety five pace is insane. Now the shooting is great, dribbling is pretty good, especially with Kim Styles. If you guys can boost this, um, and then physicality is okay. Strength is low, but Low strength, low composure uh, for where I'm at. Now, plus four on this, then you're looking good. And it me it really does make a difference at this stage. Now, two play style pluses. Uh, shooting is going to be insane. First touch, rapid, technical, quick step, relentless. Mwah, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, plus four with reactions, insane. Plus four to this type of stuff, insane. Now, are the Spurs going to get that? No. Maybe let's see plus two, and we're kind of working with something a little bit better, right? But... What people aren't going to do is put an artist on this because is that's what they need to do. Now, long pass at 70 is some of the worst passing stats you can probably get. When I say bad passing stats, I really mean it. Um, people have been talking about how bad passing this, this year is, and they just haven't realized that long pass, EA just haven't been giving good long pass stats. Now, if you use an artist... You're going to be able to boost agility, reactions, and dribbling. So that would be almost 99, which is going to make this card feel insane. If you throw, if he does get two upgrades, this is going to be one of the best cards in the game. So for 500,000 coins, a team of earner card, if he gets two plus upgrades or three, you're looking at a card that's going to look really nice then. It's going to look much better later on. Um... That's my take on this card. So Timo Werner is close to where I'd like it, but very, very close. Now, Griezmann's getting a lot a lot of movement. I haven't seen all these cards, but five-star skills, four-star weak, but high, high work rates. He's got uh, he's got unique defensive capabilities, so tackle babbage are insane. Stamina is there. Reactions are there. Composure is there. Passing, this is the difference between these big cards. The passing so much higher here. Now, the only thing he lacks is a little bit of pace. Atletico gets a couple more points of pace. Hunter up there. This is this is a 2,500 in-game stats. Insane for a striker. Finesse shot plus. Technical plus. Flair Tiki Taka is passing off the balls. Off the insane. He's going to hit every single pass that you can possibly imagine. This is one of the best cards in the game right now. He gets up to a 93-94. You're looking at an in-game card right there with Griezmann. Insane. Marquezio, 89. Anticipate plus. And... Block plus, four-star, four-star, though, intercept as well. One of the best defending center meds that you can probably get pressing forward. Um, he, He's going to be, where he, oh, 84 strength. Bro, they really bumped him up, too. He's going to be strong. His passing's there. Boom, this is a phenomenal card. Low defense awareness to make him a CDM. High, high work rate, four-star, four-star. This is a very interesting card. It's probably going to be overpriced. 90, what the heck? 95K. Snipe him. Snipe him, guys. Snipe them. But this is going to be a very nice card as well. Again, I, I believe, I, I, I don't know the 100% on the upgrades on the uh, hero cards, but that one's going to be insane. Now, company we have entered the chat is another A tier, uh, another A tier center back here with company. We've been waiting for this. 95 reactions, 92 composure. This is the difference between the big cards. Intercept plus and anticipate plus block, slide tackle, bruiser, first touch, aerial, he, they're they're loading him up now. 80 stamina is going to make him is going to kind of balance the card, right? The 70 agility is going to balance the card a little bit, uh, but he's tall and normal, which is really weird. There's not a lot of normal tall and normal players. You guys can actually look this through. Um, one of the best things I I actually look to see is if if players if you see a body type and a certain weight, 
you can almost tell exactly how they play through here. Where is this? Mis miscellaneous. You can go through ball, tall and normal. So there's not for me tall and normal. There's not for me tall and, uh, and lean. So tall and normal, there's like Jude Bellingham. That's how Jude Bellingham will play, right? That's how, that, that's how he feels. Now, his weight's going to be a little bit different, right? 75 kilograms. So you can kind of see how these guys play through these type of stuff because it, they're essentially animation packages. So they just they just kind of reskin them. But he's going to feel... This might be one. Uh, this is a top five center back in the game now, uh, plus upgrades as well. If he gets up to like an 82, 83 uh, stam, uh, that's going to make it just even better. Four star, four star Volaire. Okay. Thank you for entering that. 95 reactions. These are good. Um, terrible long pass. Terrible here. You're going to have to. He's not Kim style efficient. This is probably a 200K card. Um, with a Hawk, you're probably going to throw a Hawk on him. I'd probably do it this way. Potential upgrades. Two upgrades, one, two upgrades here, bang, bang, and you're looking at a pretty nice card. But he's going to have that issue with passing, so he's not going to be able to pass whatsoever. Carlos Tevez, let's see him out. Uh, 95, 91, beautiful five-star skills. Four-star weak foot. He does have Relentless, so with 97 stamina, this is going to be one of the highest stamina cards with 95 aggression. This is going to be feel like a monster of a card all game long. He's just going to constantly be uh, at the player's throat. Um, he's going to always be in the right spot. The only thing is he's not Kim Saw efficient. Again, passing issue with that 72 long pass. This is how they nerf these cards is that passing. So uh, if we throw an artist on this, then you're looking at 99 reactions, 99 dribbling, 99 agility. Then the passing gets there. The dribbling gets there. The only thing is then you lack some of those stats that you're looking for. However, with the 97 stamina and the relentless, you might play this because these stats are going to feel fast or better longer. The only thing is, if he does get a couple upgrades, I would only do artists if that occurs. Now, Maestro is also decent, but you want the attack positioning higher, so you may throw, um, you don't want to necessarily throw a finisher. A finisher would, would do that, but uh, you're going to most likely use a Hawk or a Hunter on him, right, um, to do so. So that's, that's most likely, you're just going to know that his passing is going to be terrible. Now, Konate, I'm really excited to look at this. I haven't looked at this card yet. We're looking at 86 defense awareness, man. They really could have given this card like 87, 88, 89 defense awareness. And this card is the top five center back. Um, I, I, it's close, man. It's a good, this is going to be a really good card. It's not, oh my God. Relentless plus, but he has 69 stamina. 69 stamina, but relentless plus. Very weird. Very weird. If you guys don't know what Relentless Plus does, basically Relentless Plus allows you to, like, one, less less fatigue and more recovery during halftime. So he's going to have, he's going to feel like an 80, 85 um, stamina player. Greatly, But this is what really matters. Greatly reduces the long-term effects on attributes, reaction time, and defensive awareness. Now, what people don't understand is basically this is saying that when this is a direct correlation to what stamina does. Now, that means that the RNG variable is all lower with stamina, unless you have play style plus. Reduces fatigue loss during the game and significantly increases fatigue during halftime. So, the main concept is this is not going to feel like a 70. This is going to feel much better longer. So, the way that 80, this is going to feel like a 90, uh, this is going to feel way better. This is the first center back that's that's like 6'4", that's meta, that we have Relentless Plus. This might be one of the best center backs now in the game, and it may not seem like it within stats, with the 69 stamina and this 90 awareness. But longevity of the game with the playstyle plus effects, you're going to see, this is going to feel like an 85, but with the reduction on the awareness that's insane that's gonna feel really weird and if you get plus two upgrades plus three plus four liverpool have been playing at the top of the league right now they're scoring goals at plus four potentially he's gonna feel like one of these he's gonna feel like a bruiser plays are gonna split as strong as possible the only thing i do not like he does not have anticipate that is it besides that that it to me is an A tier uh, center back, not and not the S tier.
It's an A tier. It's lacking that anticipate. It's lacking some of that stamina. That if, it, if they pop that stamina, it's that is an S tier, even without anticipate. Now for Barrel and Mindy, they give him four star, five star. Interesting that they do that. Um, but 98 pace, he's Kim style efficient. So he's got 90. Oh, let's look at these Kim uh, play styles first. Slide tackle plus quick step. They didn't really give him. Eh, he's okay. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. High, high work rates, unique body type. Uh, Passing, interesting. Yeah, man, this is just gonna be over over expensive. Eighty five composure, eighty five reaction. This is, I mean, everybody's gonna like this card. Now, this is one of those cards that does feel better than his stats show in game, um, and it's gonna be relative. But there's so many. I don't see it with the eighty finishing. That's gonna be a factor. Um, the ninety eight attack position is phenomenal. So you'll probably do dribbling and defending here. So if we go with a Guardian, you're going to look at a crazy... And he's got Jockey. Does he have Jockey? He does not have Jockey. You're going to look at crazy side-to-side -side movement. Um, but it's one of the... This is one of those cards that you're going to like... If a plus two, plus three, plus four upgrade type of thing. Plus two upgrade, 87, 87. That's getting... To, that's that's up there. Now, is it... Is it so here's my issue. Is it a top five left back? The community is going to say yes. I'm going to say it's going to be overpriced and over-evaluated for the actual value that it is, um, if that makes sense. It's going to be a good card. It's going to be a great card. It's going to feel better than 95% of everything out there. But is it better than, like, uh, Sarkina Karchawi, the 85, or the 95, and Teo Hernandez? No. I'd rather you guys use those. Don't, don't, get, don't get so caught up on that. This is a card I've been waiting for to see a really good card. All right, here we go. 81 stamina, okay. Passing's okay, which that was a higher. 90 reactions, 87 composure. He's going to feel a little bit sluggish side to side. Six foot two. What's his, he's got his own body type, right? Uh, aerial plus, jockey plus. Okay, jockey plus adds up like 20 points to this. It's going to feel really nice side to side. So what does jockey plus specifically do? Increase max speed of sprint jockey and greatly improves transition speed from sprint. To jockey. Okay, so basically it's just plus plus effects, right? So the idea is that if you hold down L2, he's going to be able to get into that animation a little bit faster. And that's pretty standard, right? So with a shadow, and Bayern are most likely going to get at least a two upgrade. He'll probably get a clean sheet. He'll probably get at least two wins and three appearances. I expect this he to get about three upgrades. So look at about 92. So you're looking at a 98 defensive awareness insane you're looking at 84 stamina insane you're looking at strength with 97 98 strength insane strength you're looking at aerial plus you're looking at 95 jumping you're at six foot two now you're also looking at uh jockey plus side to side movement 90 awareness and you're looking at 93 reactions with 87 you're looking at a uh this is a tier this is the top of tier a going into tier s um elite center backs this is gonna be one of the best playing center backs in the game very very shortly so uh <laughs> yeah that, that looks insane now let's look at chloe kelly chloe kelly four star skills five star weak foot five foot six high high work rate short and lean short and lean body type at five six is gonna feel like a messy style play uh whip pass plus insane rapid plus really nice now 93 pace with rapid plus she's gonna feel like eusebio in speed uh flare Short, short and lean, it's going to feel like a combination kind of between Eusebio and speed with the rapid plus and then Garlincha. So it's going to be kind of in between. So it's not going to be as fast probably as Eusebio, but it's going to be feel like Garlincha, but faster than Garlincha, if that makes sense. Um, we're going to look at 84. The, the passing's phenomenal. This is pretty good. Low finishing, but the whip pass plus is your most likely. Yeah, she doesn't really have any finishing. This is, this is a, this is to me... Uh, a card that's like a support card, like a like a can, like almost like a like a cam, except for she doesn't have incisive. It's really you're whipping this. You're, you're using this card if you're just whipping balls into like a. You need a combo in this card. You need like a six five center back, like a, or a striker, like Holland, or you need like a Holland link up with this card, or a Okafor, or a Zerxz. That's what this card's looking at. I don't think this is worth one point eight whatsoever. I think this is probably closer to the. 250,000 300k range um given where the given given uh actual value i i'm not a huge fan of that chloe kelly card 
Uh, but food tray, five star weak foot. Now, 82 stamina was his weakness when I used his original card. High low work rate is good. Rapid plus, he's going to feel very fast in that 95 pace. What's his body type? Average and normal. So it's going to feel like rich, uh, like kind, closer to Richarlson. Now, this is new that they've been dropping more body types. I, I want you guys to see this. They've been dropping so many more body types. You, you Last season, they usually had just normal. They just had average. They didn't have average and stocky, average and normal. These are more development. This is more development type of body type, giving more unique takes. That's why some of these players probably feel a little bit different. So a lot of these players have their own specific, right? Uh, then they also have like unique body types and all this. But average and normal is going to feel probably, let's see what Richarlson uh, actually looks. What is Richarlson's body type? Because I want to see if what it is average and normal. Yeah, so he's going to feel very similar to like a Richarlson card um outside of like when it comes to just think of it bumped with like 10 points of pace right it's dude it's weird i'm look, like like i said guys look how nerdy i am do you see how nerdy i am bro i've got custom earphone pads for my bose headphones custom that's how nerdy i am guys oh my gosh talk about nerd the nerd factor is going off you know what let's bump some tunes and let's let's get some energy in here the 94 balance is going to... Oh, 94 composure. Insane. I'd rather have composure almost more than I like reactions, man. 77 passing is going to kind of take it down. He is Kimsaw efficient. Most likely a plus two upgrade. Makes it really nice. Um, we're looking at... You're going to want to boost shooting. The dribbling is good enough. It is Kimsaw efficient. You're going to want to boost shooting and passing. So that's what are we going to throw? A dead eye on him? But then we need that long pass up. So is there anything that boosts long pass and shooting up? That's where I forget. Long pass and shooting. I don't think there's anything that does long pass and shooting. And so that's maybe Maestro. But then you're missing out on those uh, that attack position. So it's a little tough on this one. The food tray card is going to be feel very nice. The five star skills. But the three star weak foot, his passing is going to be abysmally terrible. Um... But he's going to be really insane when you have him. When he has the ball, he's going to feel insane. And for the casual market, he's going to feel like a great card. Now we finally have a new Marquinhos, a meta Marquinhos. We were looking at 92 awareness, 91 reactions, 91 composure. Phenomenal. Lower ball control than I like. Actually, I want to go back and I want to revisit um, the lit. Well, this is ball control. 77 ball control. That sucks. Um, and what about company? 90 ball... 78 so this is where guys this is where right card if you guys have if you guys are looking at like uh your right card does he beat a right card this is where right card is insane guys he's got 90 ball control that's a huge stat decent reaction decent composure right this right card card is up there with some of the best center backs in the game uh it's very undervalued i think right now but if we go and look at this card here we got jockey block and in intercept anticipate plus now he's only six foot tall, medium high work rates. So his side to side movement with jockey and the uh, in the 72 is gonna feel pretty smooth. He's gonna feel pretty quick side to side. He's not gonna feel too well. Average and normal again. Um, he's not gonna feel too well over the top. Um, he does have power header plus 97 jumping, which is gonna be good, but six you're gonna get beat by maybe like a team of the year holland but there's gonna only be like five cards that can beat him over the top with these stats so 90 stamina make him last the entire game he doesn't have relentless but he does have intercept so his interceptions are gonna be off the charts his passing is gonna be phenomenal this honestly you could slot him at a cdm with 73 defensive awareness this yeah you could slide him as cdm just three star weak but beware to worry about that plus two plus three plus four upgrades and you're looking at a ba another banger insane card. Rui Costa. I missed FIFA like 17, FIFA 18. Uh, Rui Costa, man. Uh, first touch plus. Flare plus. Tiki Taka. Incisive technical. Travella. Beautiful. Four star, four star. Meaning medium work rates. 5'11. Looking beautiful. Now, 91 reactions. Very good. 93 stamina. Very good. This is very good. This is all insane. I love this card. You put a hawk on it or an engine, and you're going to play him as like a traditional cam. I think this guy is going to be a traditional cam. 70 interceptions make him oddly insane. Uh, where is uh, where is that engine? There it is. Engine right here. Bang. You're looking at a beautiful cam. Just know that it's finishing. So like his positioning is going to be a shot power, long shots. All that's good. 
But when it comes to like those clinical uh, finishing moments, those mental stats, his mental stats are really relatively low, especially with composure down. So I would kind of use him and just like, like make the extra pass if I'm using him. First touch plus and flare plus. He's going to be one of the most efficient cams to like pivot the ball at a striker position right between those center backs and center mids. He's going to be insane. Majri, let's go. I've been waiting for a Majri card. Press Proven plus, Technical plus. She's got Whip Pass, Tiki Taka, Flare, Trickster plus, Ravel, Acrobat, High Medium, 5'5", five 5-star, five, five 4-star, four star, Short and Normal. She's got a weird amount of defensive stats. She's got a medium-high defensive work rates, guys. She's she's supposed to be like a center mid. So if you like a cam that comes back, I would slot her as a cam that comes back. She's not really a CDM. She's not really a left wing. She's not really a cam. It's like... She doesn't know where she wants to play, but she's good about, she's just, she's like above average in a little bit of everything. This is like a Hulk gang, like 5-5 five, five attacking center mid type of thing. It's kind of a weird card, but this is a card that like you're going to like, you could throw at a cam or a left mid and play her at like left mid and just always have her more of a defensive uh, player, but kind of a weird card. Kind of a weird card. If she gets a team of the season card, that's going to be nuts. But uh, kind of a weird card. Lazaruzu. All right, let's see this one, man. Quick stop plus, slide tackle plus, block, anticipate, acrobat, whip pass, three star, three star, high, high, medium, high, high work rate, short and normal. Got 92 stam. This is good. This is good. This is good. This looks like a new top five. Uh, we have a new top five left back in the game. Looking at it, we don't have Relentless, but we do have Anticipate, so the tackling is going to be good. The work rate is going to be good. The whip pass is going to be good. Slide tackle, the quick step. Doesn't have flare or first touch or a ping pass or anything like that, but everything around this card is going to be feel good. He's going to feel very strong with the 95 balance. Now, he doesn't going to... It's going it, to... The balance and the strength are going to offset each other a little bit. 2,400 in-game stats. 434 mental. Phenomenal card. Absolutely beautiful Lazaru card. Beautiful Lazaru. Grealish here at 800,000 coins. Been waiting for a good Grealish. Finish shot plus, trickster plus, ping pass, tiki taka, flare, first touch, press proven. He's going to be a very good cam as well. It's kind of like the mo uh, dribbling or passing is good. Uh, attack position is good. Shooting is just a little bit low. This is just a little bit lower than what we'd like it. it kind of, they, I think they kind of do Grealish dirty. Really, like if you watch him, man, I think he's one of the most agile and best ball control and dribbling players. He's just not like a like a classic, like he's not like a Ronaldinho type of agility player or like a Vinicius Jr. type of agility. But I think Grealish is up there with like some of those, some of the best when it comes to like avoiding tackles and dribbling. And so like, I think it's, I think they did him dirty on the dribble. I like, I think he should have base of 91, 92 agility, but looks very nice. I would think a basic is probably going to be the best way to play this. Um, decent defensive stats. He gets a sprint jockey, so he's going to feel decent side to side. He's got almost every dribble touch you can use. And and uh, does he have Tiki Taka and ping pass, making him super efficient with dribbling. And then finesse shot plus with 88 long shots. Um, wish his shot power is a little bit more, but really is going to be nice, especially a plus two, plus three, plus four upgrade. You're looking at you're looking at an easy easy 92 rated card i think politano here 28,000 coins um super cheap loaded with play styles 90 stamina 86 84 kind of destroy the card a little bit for the cheap boys guys this is a this is a gift to the community for the low boys so for you guys out there that haven't played a lot this is gonna be a look at like a really nice card with good passing you're just gonna have to really be a conscientious that he's going to lose some of those 50 50 balls and he's going to lose uh if players are right on your back so you're really going to have to shoot in space but politano looks like a nice card to upgrade for a lot of people and going to be most likely a decent investment if you guys think of it at base value uh the cards that are going to come in around twenty thousand coins that plus two plus three plus four upgrades um who knows if napoli can get a plus four but you never know. They may get a six, uh, six goal game and then a four goal game right back to back. You never know, right? But here we go, Kalinoglu. Very solid, very well structured card. This is the best Kalinoglu card I think I've ever seen. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking center mid, four star, four star, high high work rates, and you know, maybe a four three two one. You're looking at tactical, first touch, relentless, pain pass, intercept, 
He's got everything you're looking for. The meta curve has shifted. You're going to want to start dumping cards and get into stuff like this. This is a good card. This is a nice card. This card will come. This is a very well-rounded whole game card with 2,500 in-game stats, mental stats up there, skill. You're looking at a beautiful card with that Colin Alu card. I think that's one of the best cards I've seen released so far um, out of this out of this group. So I really like that one. Uh, let's see her color. Uh, Naul Naul Mol um, Molina. Right mid, right back, right wing back. 97 stamina, 86 defense awareness. Ah, they kill us here. And they kill us here. Everything else is decent. Four star, four star, high, high. Whip pass plus is nice. His tackling's gonna be good. He's gonna last for the ever. He's gonna feel really fast. Um, what's his body type? He got average and lean. Ah, that was um, that's like that's gonna be okay on the sprint speed. This is gonna be an okay right back. So if you pack this card and you're in like a tier B, tier C, this is gonna be like a tier B card. Um, the awareness, the reactions, the composure are going to be huge. Uh, it's going to be very, very valuable when uh, making passes and reacting to block shots and stuff. Iago Ospis, usually he has high reactions, high composure, good. Stamina is good. Low strength, low balance. So he's going to get knocked off ball really easily. 89 composure. You want that higher if you're going to have that lower. Uh, so 89 is going to feel like an 84. Uh, incisive pass, maybe even lower than that. Maybe 82, 81. Uh, long pass is yeah, barely. This one's barely a card. This is one I'd overlook, but investment wise, I don't mind it with plus three on everything. You're gonna look nicer. You're gonna look nicer. You're gonna look nicer. You're gonna look, you're gonna get into nice niceness over here. You're gonna look uh, maybe Kim Sal efficient here, but you're gonna want to go boost a pace. It, it's it's not Kim Sal efficient, so it's kind of a dud of a card, to be honest. I would not rate uh, my man Iago Ospis in that aspect. Now, Kessler, let's check this out. We're looking at a cam, center mid position. You're looking at short normal, five, seven, more, four star, four star, relentless plus. So the stamina is gonna feel like 90, 95, but without the, with the boost at halftime. And you got jockey, intercept, flare, first touch. This is like a relentless plus. Center, is, ah, I don't like it, man. I don't like it. It's a nice card. It's a nice card. Um, it's gonna feel okay. It, this is not a card you buy. This is a card you pack and and the upgrade. You know what I mean? You pack this card and you play with it. 92 reactions, composure. It's gonna feel decent. It's gonna feel a little sluggish for five, five, seven. So like when you're dribbling and you get tackled and you're like, why did I dribble and get tackled? The 81 agility is gonna be a factor of that. The defensive is just good. It's just bad enough. I'm not gonna play her at center mid. And the uh the pace is just slow enough. I'm not going to play her at a wing. And the dribbling's just low enough. I'm not going to play her at a wing. And, like, I would want the dribbling to be higher if I'm going to play her at a cam. And if the dribbling's low, I want I want to boost the strength, make it more like a Zidane card. It's not there. Um, it's not there. I think there's so many other replacements. But the Relentless Plus is nice. A plus two, plus three upgrade, whatever it is. Um, it's going to add value, but it's not going to be there, in my opinion. An Andre card, people are 50-50 on it. Low reactions, low composure. If you're going to use the CDM, you got to have that up. Standard set plus is nice. Anticipate is good. Relentless is good. Jockey is good. Does he have blocked, dude? No, he doesn't. He almost has them all, though. 96 stamina and regression are going to bump up the tackle ability and some of that, uh, some of the reaction time. Uh, maybe the reaction time. Um... This is going to look, this is going to be an okay card. If you get this one gets a plus two, plus three upgrade, you're looking at a card that uh, I think uh, this is going to be a division four card. I could probably get to, I could probably get to D1 in this, uh, but it would be a grind, man. It would be an absolute sweat with this card. Now you're going to be able to do a lot of stuff that, but four star, four star is pretty good. Closure is just good enough that you could probably go from, yeah, this is most likely a division four card. If you play only Division Four and you play to get like rank five, this is gonna that card's gonna get you get get the job done. But man, it's gonna be a sweat to do so. Did him, did him, did him, did him, did him, did him, did him. All of them done. Guys, I promise you, I'm not wrong. But if I am wrong, let me know your thoughts below. And check out our daily trading on gameplay analysis and trading channel, where we break down and help you guys. Hey, coins and get better at the game as an EAFC professional coach.
I can guide you to success. Until next time, guys, my name is John. We'll see you guys soon. Remember, if you buy right, you never lose. If you buy with John, you always win. Meanwhile, look how nerdy I look, dude. I look real nerdy. Drop a comment if you guys made it to the blow saying, what a nerd. We'll see you tomorrow.